Now, um, I understand that some of you may not have a tabletop mixer, so you're not gonna you know, be able to go through and find your machine friction, but you can mix by hand. And in that case, you are the machine, okay? So um, you're gonna do this by hand without a mixer, and so you're gonna follow the same steps. You're gonna hydrate your yeast, and you're going to mix your flour in a big bowl. Add your salt. Make sure you mix it around so that it's not concentrated in any one area. You're going to add your yeast and water. Then you're going to add the remaining water. And you're gonna get your hands in. And start mixing the dough. And you're going to develop it by hand, as opposed to developing it in a mixer. Now once it gets strong enough and absorbed enough of the flour and the water that's in it, it kind of comes together and cleans the bowl, then you can take it out of the bowl and knead it on the table. But for the sake of keeping your kitchen without having flour and yeast and dough flying everywhere, you want to keep it in the bowl until it comes to a good stiff mass like this, okay? Hope you're not one of these that gets finicky about your hands getting dirty because bread baking, your hands are always dirty. <laughs> you're gonna add some flour to your bench and always keep flour available nearby because from time to time you might need it. And also have your scraper. If your dough at any point starts to get stuck to the table, you will need your scraper in order to dislodge it. Now you don't want to put too much flour on the table because then you're going to be kneading that flour into the dough and you're going to be changing the consistency of the dough. So it's just enough to keep it from sticking. So right now I haven't added any other than the initial flour that I added. And you're just going to keep your hands floured to keep your hands from sticking. And you're going to fold it over and push the dough. Fold it and push. Fold it and push. going to be looking for the same cues with the dough that you did with the mixer. You're going to mix it until the dough becomes smooth and then you're going to take a window test to see how the development of the gluten is coming together. You'll see a lot of videos where they will drop the dough on the table like this. And if you have the room and the space in order to do that, you can, because that also helps to develop the gluten in the dough. So I'm going to pause the video now, and I'm going to develop this dough by hand, and then we'll be back to finish off the uh, video. much 